Hi, this is Ehsan Shamsi, and today I'm gonna to mess around with Typho, which is a new plugin in Trius Max, as you may all know. And uh, to be honest with you guys, this is by far the best particle system I have ever worked with in Max. Uh, if you search for it, you may already find maybe hundreds of tutorials for this uh, plugin, and today's tutorial is one of them, of course. Today, I'm gonna get a reform effect out of type flow. I'm gonna uh, get an object and break it, uh, break it into pieces, break it uh, into fragments, and after time, uh, all those fragments will come together and shape the original uh, form of the uh, object. Well, previously in Max, uh, using the traditional uh, particle system, I mean people, uh, before box tree, you had no choice but um, scripting this effect. And after introducing box tree in particle flow, uh, you could do it without scripting, but then again, getting all those complicated nodes in box tree it was really a pain in the ass. But now uh, you can get this effect in tie flow without any effort, and it is really, really, really easy to set up. All right, that being said, let's get started. First, I'm gonna create an object. Well, maybe a teapot. And obviously, I'm gonna create a tie flow. Open editor, and we need a birth shape. What did I do? All right, pick. And for some reason, this operator display does not work for me. I guess it is because of my graphic card, which is kind of old. It only supports DirectX 10, so. I'm going to delete that and instead I'm going to get mesh operator and simply remove the uh, check mark for that option. And I'm going to get rid of the original shape. I want it to display as a box as you see here. And this teapot as you see here is a particle created by Typho. All right, let's head back to editor. Now I want to break it into pieces and obviously I'm gonna use a Voronoi fracture. As you see, we have already all the parts generated. I need more fragments, maybe. All right, I guess 10 fragments is enough. But damn, this Voronoi is really fast compared to other Voronoi fracture methods. All right, <clears throat> uh, the most important part is here. I'm gonna use a custom property operator for my event. And then here in custom TM, set it to TM and let the channel be zero don't change it you can change it of course but there's no need for that uh, all right <clears throat> let's give it some time some age maybe 10 frames i guess is enough now let's move them a little bit how about the force 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 all right Again, copy mesh, paste it as an instance. It's not doing anything, but all right.
Yeah, maybe test other methods. Alright, this is cool for now. And after maybe 40 frames, 50 frames, I'm going to drop them onto the ground. So I need a physic shape. Physics shape. Um, no, not that. I need to be here. Let's give it some time. Um, maybe 50 frames, exactly 50 frames, it's just fine, I guess. Copy, paste as an instance, delete display. Let's extend the timeline, we need more frames. And always, always remember, remove this tiny checkbox here. We don't want that to be played in real time. Okay, since I'm using an old laptop, let's work with less uh, particles. Frames is a lot, maybe 25 frames. Move up, move up, move up, now drop. All right. That's good. Uh, okay, <clears throat> let's take him out after maybe 30 frames, or maybe more, 50 frames, 50 frames, and this is the last step, find the target. But before that, in order to avoid any crazy behavior, we need a physics switch and deactivate all the because uh, by default, Typhoon, when you define a physic uh, shape, uh, everything will be considered as physics uh, uh, until you deactivate them. All right. Again, mesh, copy, paste as instant, delete. Want them to come back. Uh, what happened? All right. <clears throat> you have to simply add uh, here. Choose TM to get the position defined here. Custom TM. And as for the rotation. Target alignment again, custom TM. And there you go. That was it. Maybe you can work with that motion. Let me set it to real time. Maybe we can control it with time I guess and that was it that was it you just have to play with the other settings to get uh, uh, faster or slower uh, reactions believe me if we wanted to get this effect in uh, box 3 for example you would still uh, was messing around in so many complicated notes but here let me count one two three four only four events you got this cool effect 
All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great time. Goodbye.